Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Over the weekend, more than 90 vehicles piled up in a wreck along I-35 near Huxley, and not one crossed over into oncoming traffic. Iowa's cable barrier, barrier system may be the reason. KCCI's Hannah Hilliard is live tonight with more on the safety device that is really coming to the rescue this winter. Steve and Stacy, I'm here along Interstate 235 where traffic is moving quite smoothly here. But as usual, the traffic is separated by Jersey barriers separating the east and the westbound lanes. But it was cable barriers that seemed to be in the right spot at the right time just this weekend. With more than 90 vehicles involved in this weekend's pile up along Interstate 35 near Huxley, some found themselves tangled up in these. Everybody just yelled brace in the car and you know, we were up against the wires. Wires, also known as cable barriers. And Monday, this is the aftermath. We kept all the vehicles on the proper side of the roadway. We didn't have any instances of vehicles crossing over into opposing traffic. Chris Poole is the safety programs engineer with the Iowa Department of Transportation. He says head-on crashes are more likely to lead to serious injuries and even death. These barriers are meant to lessen the number of those kinds of incidents. Do they work? Cable barriers absolutely work. 42% of Iowa interstates are now lined with the cables, and in recent years, Iowa DOT has seen fewer head-on crash deaths. We cut that down to approximately six people losing their lives each year, solely due to keeping people on the proper side of the road. And while crashing into cables can still wreck a car, Poole says it's better than the alternative. Certainly there is some damage experienced by vehicles when they crash into cable barriers. However, ultimately we feel that that damage would be much less both to the vehicle and its occupants compared to crashing into somebody head on. Now, Iowa DOT is currently working with Iowa State University to work on a study to determine other locations for these kind of barriers other than just on the interstate. Reporting live in Des Moines, Hannah Hilliard, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.